Hi, I'm your host, Madison Hicks, and welcome to Spotcast. I'm joined by my guests, Laura Lozano, Haley Adame, and Julie Braza. Recently, plenty of wealthy parents, including business leaders and actresses, have been caught being involved in a major college fraud case. 33 parents were involved in using their wealth and fame to get their child into elite colleges such as UFCFC and Yale through doing things like lying about their child's involvement in sports, bribing admissions officers, and altering their child's test scores. What kind of message does this send to aspiring college students? How does this affect the future reputation of colleges involved? All this and more. This is Spotcast. What do you think about the fact that the parents are paying for their kids to get into college? I think that the parents that are paying for their children to go into college is the fact that the children that do not have the advantage of so much money that they're putting so much effort and time into going to college that it makes it seem as though the fight into getting into college was not really worth it. Is it fair for colleges to accept money to allow students who don't meet their expectations? It's not fair but it's something that's been going on for many years, even though it's been recently discovered or there's recently been news about this. It's something that many people have known has been going on for years because schools accept the the children of people who donate tons and tons of money for a while now. So while it's not fair to the people who put in the hard work to get into these prestigious schools, it's something that's been accepted by society and something I don't think that can be changed relatively quickly. What does this mean for the high school students who want to get into these elite colleges but don't have that much money? This will mean that the high school students will have to be shown the reality that hard work can be overtaken by a lots of amount of money. What does this mean for the families of the students who legitimately want to get into these colleges? These families will now have to worry about their college. I mean, there's kids getting into colleges now because either they're going to get in or there's not enough space because all the rich kids have taken all the spots. How does this affect the reputations of the colleges involved? This affects the reputations of the colleges that are involved because when going into the college of that choice, rather than looking at test scores and how much effort a student has put in, they're rather focusing on materialistic things that parents of fortune and wealth are giving. What about the other colleges, those not involved? How are they affected by this? I don't believe that the colleges not involved will be affected in any way, actually because just because someone's doing something right and then you find out someone's doing something wrong doesn't mean that the people who've been doing it right deserve praise because there was one person who did it wrong. It's just a constant that should be upheld. And just because the discovery of something wrong being done in other colleges doesn't mean that colleges that have been doing it right will get recognition for that. What does this do to the thinking of those going through high school right now? Um, This affects the thinking of those going into high school because rather than them focusing on how much effort and time they're putting in to going into college, they're more worried about what spot is being taken by the families of those with more money and more wealth. If this were to be allowed, how would this affect the unwealthy applicants? If this were to be allowed, um the students with less wealth and the students that cannot afford to pay off the teachers and pay off the admissions office, they probably would be dejected and would attempt to go into those prestigious colleges that they know are accepting bribes less and less as the time goes on. But honestly, I still think people will try to get into these colleges. And I think that just because there's been a mishap or just because there's a bad reputation right now doesn't make it uh, an any less great college and great universities. People still know their reputation of good education and even though they get money and accept students because of money, uh, doesn't mean that students will not want to go there. It just means they'll try even harder. So what changes would be needed for these schools' administration's offices to ensure that this doesn't happen in the future. School administrations need to establish rules that say 
Hey, any student under sus that is under suspicion of enrollment through mean through means of money or anything else will be put under investigation till proven otherwise, and under that time will not be accepted. And that will do for this episode of the podcast. I would like to thank my guests, Julie Barraza, Laura Lozano, and Haley Adame for being here. For Spot 127, I'm Madison Hicks.